YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Coach Renosha back with another one, man. Another review Air Jordan 11 Retro Low in a size 11, white slash black, and emerald rise is the colorway, guys. Let's check them out. Guys, before we get too far into this review, it's an Air Jordan 11 Low, first of the season. Y'all know what that means. It's Easter Sunday right around the corner, so I would like to take this time to say Happy Easter to you guys. Happy Holidays. Appreciate you guys rocking with me. I hope you guys have a safe and blessed one. Let's check this sneaker out, fam. Bang! Alright? Air Jordan 11 Low Concord. Nah, they ain't the Concord Lows. Alright? Now, I try to, try to get the light to hit these things right. Air Jordan 11 Low Emerald Joints. Another Easter drop, okay? Depending on how the light hits these things, now we're indoors, so obviously uh, it's going to be a little bit less so. But indoors, these things do not pop nearly as hard. You can get caught looking at them and think that they're black. But once you get up on them and the light hits them right, man, these things are in fact a very, very dark emerald green. See how that sheen hits it, depending on how the light hits it? Now, when I saw them sitting on shelves in stores, that green popped. It was evident. Um, you know, obviously, they got decent lighting around the shoes just to draw your eye to them anyway. I think people are going to be sleeping on these a little bit, you know. These were not a hard cop in terms of a retro right now. You should be getting an idea of how things are starting to trend back with these retros as to how they were. These things were on shelves, which means that they weren't all raffled up. You know, I actually won a couple raffles. I got a homie that won more raffles than I got fingers on my hand, which is insane. I don't know how many places he's got to shop for shoes, but evidently he's got a lot around there. Shouts out to the homie Sneakerholic Bees, man. These things are clean, so you got of course, that patent leather going all the way around, very telltale to the 11s. These are low, so you got no jump man back here. One less lace aglet, of course, going up the shoe. In terms of the rest of the shoe, that outsole, you can actually see it. See how that, it's all, it's got that rainbow tint. Reminds me very much of the Chameleon All-Star 6s that dropped, like, what, last year, year and a half ago, something like that. It reminds me a lot of what they did with those, or I guess also the All-Star 1s that came out that same weekend. Um, very dope, I like it, you know, it's a little bit different. It lends itself a little bit more towards potentially being a female colorway because of that, but I think these things are dope, man. Um, I know these, they were catching some, some flack, but you know, I think it was unwarranted. You do have almost like a mint green Jumpman right here. You can see a little bit better on that 23, on that back heel portion of the shoe. Of course, you got the Jumpman down below. He looks like he's just coming in at black. Somewhat difficult to see because of all those rainbow transparent colors coming in. Very dope. And then you've got a tumbled leather look on this upper. And then just your typical white rope laces. All right, fam, hit me in the comment section down below with your thoughts on the shoe, your thoughts on, uh, you know, anything in general, man, going on in the month of March in terms of sneakers is drawn to an end, man. It's almost April. It's right around the corner. What are you guys looking forward to? Let me know in that comment section down below. Smash that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't yet. Y'all know what it is. It's on feet time. Let's check these things out. Thank you guys for checking the video out. I appreciate you. Much love. Stay blessed. It's your boy, Kosher Nostra. Peace.